Frustration growing uh, among parents and students this evening after news that Fremont schools will remain closed for the rest of the school year. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba is in Fremont where the district and the teachers failed to reach a deal. Andrea? Well, and Ken, that is this behind me is the result of all of that. This crowd has been out here since 3.30 this afternoon here on Paseo Padre, chanting, protesting, begging to be let back into classrooms this school year. Let our kids go back to school! Standing in front of the Fremont Unified District Teachers Association, parents and students are begging to go back to the classroom. We, you know, the scapegoat in this whole um, scenario is the kids and um, uh, being the grown-ups here, I think we should um, reach a common ground. They say over a year of distance learning is no longer working and kids are suffering academically and socially. They're hiding in the closet all the time, just playing when the Zoom conference is going on. The elder one is a little bit more responsible, but the younger one is not doing fine. She's in elementary and I'm worried about her. She's falling behind. In, in. After negotiating since October, the district and teachers union did not reach a deal to get kids back on campus this school year. And unfortunately, we weren't able to come to a common agreement on how to do that. And we are running up against a very short timeline of days left in the instructional year. And that's why we shifted our energy and attention to trying to find alternative ways to bring our students to campus. Among the reasons, teachers wanted more money for working extra hours required for a hybrid model. Specifically for first through the fifth and sixth grade teachers in elementary, the district was asking that an additional number of hours be done each week so that they would be teaching in person or online throughout their regular workday, but also need to do the additional hours of preparation for distance learning. Jamie Phillips is a parent who also teaches kindergarten at Harvey Green Elementary. She says it's safe and time to get back to a classroom. Uh, Disneyland is opening, but we we have no guarantee that our schools are going to be opening even in the fall. So it's time to stop the nonsense. Now, the superintendent says he is very confident that schools will reopen to full in person instruction in the fall. This crowd here says they certainly hope so. Live in Fremont tonight, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.